Good afternoon. Uh, the title of my talk today is Libraries Without Borders, Global Library Initiatives at Stony Brook University. The mission of the Stony Brook University Global Library Initiative is to strengthen international ties among libraries and librarians worldwide. And uh, since the uh, inception of the Office of Global Library Initiatives in 2014, I have been working very closely with academic departments and the Office of Global Affairs to identify international initiatives, programs, and activities in order to uh, focus the library, library's efforts to the areas that are most critical to the students' and faculty's uh, success. For example, I worked with Dr. Mark Sedler. He is Associate Dean of medical, uh, medical, Global Medical Education. And I had several conversations with Dr. Mark uh, Sedler. And uh, during our conversations, I got to know that Stony Brook Medicine was looking for a partnership university in Shanghai, China. I said, you find the right person. So through my connections, uh, Stony Brook Medicine and Tongji University Medicine in Shanghai, China signed MOU in 2015. I also worked with Dr. Uh, Dr. Peter Small, of the founder of the Global Health Institute, and uh, Dr. Patricia Wright, uh, founder of Central Valby. Central Valby is Stony Brook's research facility in Madagascar. And uh, research, researchers in this facility, they have remote access to Stony Brook University Library's resources. However, I think we should do more. So through our talk, um, we agreed to uh, offer email reference services and also the chat services for the researchers over there. We also had a discussions about setting up an information center in Madagascar that we provide uh, open access health related information to the local health professionals in that country. SUNY Korea. SUNY Korea is a global campus of Stony Brook University and uh, right now student, students are admitted into this school. They will follow Stony Brook curriculum and also receive Stony Brook degrees. On my way to China, I visited this university. Since the university does not, uh, SUNY Korea does not have a library director, I met Mr. Wang of IT, head of IT. I also had a talk with Ms. Uh, Darby Fanning. He's a key, a key contact person for the library services from University of Utah. We talked about our collaborations. Uh, since my visit, we created a research guide geared primarily for SUNY career faculty and the students. Also, two librarians taught an online session requested by SUNY career faculty. And these are the pictures of that visit. In April this year, uh, Stony Brook University had eight information sessions for admitted students in China. And I participated in one of the sessions for admitted students in Beijing, China. In the, in the picture, you can see uh, Dr. Stanley, president of Stony Brook University, was making a speech, and also the group pictures with almost, uh, we had about almost 200 admitted students in that session. We also developed relationships with research libraries worldwide, and we also facilitated relationships with other research libraries and information centers to allow Stony Brook University faculty and staff and students to access research materials during their extended stays in other countries. Shanghai Normal University, my alma mater, I graduated in this school in 1982 with a bachelor's in English literature. And uh, so I visited this university, Stony Brook University Libraries, and Shanghai Normal University signed MOU in 2016. We also signed MOU with a top-ranking university called Shandong University in Jinan, China and also SUSTEC. SUSTEC is a global uh, partnership of Stony Brook University. I visited this university twice. I presented about embedded librarianship and also talked about library space transformation. I also helped promote Stony Brook University Global Summer Campus. And two universities also signed MOU in 2017. And the other university we signed MOU is Northeast Normal University in Changchun, China. 
Also, we have hosted a dozen uh, visiting scholars from around the world. We also held the Global Library Initiatives lecture series for the Office of Global Library Initiatives. And Dr. Xiaoling, uh, known from Guangxi Medical University, presented, prevents, uh, presented the inaugural lecture titled The Idea of Exchange on December 1st, 2014. And the second lecture series was presented by Dr. Zhao Long from Shanghai Normal University, and he talked about ancient document services at the Shanghai Normal University. Dr. Ryan, uh, a librarian emeritus from University of Florida, presented health information training in low-income countries, benefits, complications, and observations. Uh, Jia Ning from Shanghai Normal University talked about subject services at Shanghai Normal University libraries. And Cai Ying, also from Shanghai Normal, presented library collection development and the role of catalogers in 2016. And uh, uh, this librarian is from uh, Shanghai Ocean University. She talked about promoting reading, promote, uh, reading promotion in academic libraries in China. And uh, academic libraries in Japan by Mr. Yuji Nishigaya uh, was presented in 2017. He's also a visiting scholar to our university. And the most recent one is Luo Yizhou, uh, from Shanghai Normal University. Uh, she also talked about uh, library services of Shanghai Normal. Also, uh, in the past several years, I organized and presented academic sessions at the Chinese Library Annual Conference, the largest annual conference of its kind in China. Uh, in 2017, we presented the librarian in the transitional time, exploration, and practice in academic libraries in the United States. And in 2015, we, we, we present the library's role in special, uh, in social advancement. And this is, uh, in 2018, we talked about, we presented academic, academic session titled Innovative Library Services and Teaching with Emerging Technologies. Also in 2017, I have been presented, I have been invited to present three keynote speeches at two international conferences and one national conference uh, in China. This is, the April, this is April 2017. The title is Transforming Stony Brook University Libraries into Collaborative Spaces. This is a speech presented at the third international conference on leadership and innovative management in academic libraries in the age of new technology in Tongji University. Again, I presented innovative services at the Stony Brook University Libraries at academic seminar on digital resource construction and knowledge services in Northeast Normal University. This is a 2017 uh, international conference on embedded education and instruction of new models of library services. The title of my presentation is From Embedded to, Lab to Liaison Librarian, Academic Librarians in Transition. Also, uh, I also provided lots of opportunities for junior library faculty at Stony Brook University. I invited two lab uh, junior librarian faculty to present at an international conference uh, in China. So to sum up, learning and research today are increasingly global and interdisciplinary. To meet the challenge of needs of our interconnected world, libraries are reaching outside, are reaching outside of their traditional boundaries to cooperate with institutions and agencies of all type. The Office of Global Library Initiatives will continue to collaborate with Stony Brook University schools, academic and clinical departments, and other organizations to support innovation, to find challenges, to enhance and develop the library's critical role in the success of Stony Brook faculty, staff, and students. Thank you very much.